Hi, welcome to another edition of Crosstower Children's Church. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm not Billy. So sorry to disappoint you. But as we've moved into fall and started school, we've decided to integrate some other options into the Sunday morning videos that we're doing. So don't panic. Faith, Frosty, and Billy will be back next week. And then from here on out, you'll probably see them every other week instead of every Sunday. As we're figuring out what to do with our children's ministry moving forward, please bear with us. And I'm hoping you'll let us know if there's anything you would like to see featured here on Sunday mornings. This morning, I thought I'd share some thoughts about prayer. When Alyssa was little, we found this idea of using our hand to pray five different things. I took a picture of her hand and made this little sign for her to have on the wall by her bed. It worked great for her and I actually still hear her incorporating some of these phrases into her own prayers even though they're obviously less scripted and have more of her heart in them. And then once Ava was in kindergarten, her teacher had a chart that showed four things to pray about. We loved that chart so much that we made a copy of our own and we still use it when we pray with her. I'll put the links to these PDFs in the description in case you want to print a copy of your own. You know, you can pray anytime. That's the most wonderful thing about our glorious God. He's always there to listen. You can start by telling him how much you love him. You can even tell him how awesome he is or how amazing his creation is, how beautiful the mountains are, or how much you love the clouds. And the next thing, you can thank him for something. Ava once told God that she was thankful that her books had a bunk bed. She was really talking about the shelf they were on, but that's okay, right? What are you thankful for? Your mom or your dad? Your favorite toy? Be sure to thank him for it. Next, we think of something that we feel bad about. Maybe mom or dad had to get after us about a chore we didn't do, or maybe we were mean to brother or sister. We can make sure God hears us say that we're sorry because he loves us so much and rejoices when he sees us learn from our mistakes. And last but not least, ask God to help someone else. Does your best friend have an owie? Or maybe grandma isn't feeling very well? Say a prayer for them. God just loves you so much and he wants so badly to have a relationship with you and that starts with getting in the habit of praying every day. Well, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.